This is what we're making today. Miso soup. First, we're gonna make a dashi. In one liter of water, we're gonna add 10 grams of kombu and one dried shiitake mushroom. We're gonna bring this mixture up to a simmer and simmer it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna strain out the liquid. We're gonna set the kombu and shiitake on the side and use it later for the soup. The dried shiitake mushroom is completely optional. If you don't have it, then just omit it. Once we've strained out our kombu and shiitake mushroom, we're gonna add in 20 grams of bonito flakes. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes. For these type of bonito flakes where it's nice and thin, it's very important that you don't let it sit for too long or your dashi will turn bitter. After five minutes, we're gonna strain our bonito flakes. And this is our dashi, the base for multiple Japanese dishes. Next, we're gonna cut up our ingredients for our miso soup. While I cut up my tofu, kombu, and green onions, this is where I remind you to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for new videos. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button, it's at the bottom right of your screen. And guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I got a new table. It's no longer shaking. I'd like to thank my patrons for helping me afford this. It was because of your donations why I was able to buy a new table. If any of you guys want to help support and fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. Now let's make our miso soup. In one liter of dashi, we're going to add in three tablespoons of white miso. We're going to dissolve our miso in the large ladle by dipping it into the hot dashi. If you simply throw the miso into the hot dashi, it will stay clumped. Once we've dissolved all our miso, we're going to throw in our kombu, our tofu, and a little bit of soy sauce. We're going to bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. This will help the tofu maintain its shape, the kombu to soften up, and the soup to develop more flavor. We're going to taste for seasoning, add a little bit of salt, and now let's get ready to plate. Alright, so this is your basic miso soup that you find in most Japanese restaurants. There's nothing special about it, it's just good and hearty. Personally, I would have never cut the tofu and the kombu this big, but I really needed it to look like the picture, so yeah, that's what I did. The main purpose of this video is actually to teach you guys how to make dashi, because dashi is the soul of Japanese food. It's like learning how to make a stock in French cuisine. Dashi is what gives most Japanese dishes the umami taste. Learning how to make this will open you up to hundreds of new Japanese dishes. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.